Welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Please like, share, and subscribe. I only found maybe a dozen things at the Goodwill this week, but all the rest of the things I found at the Menagerie. But let's start with the things I found at Goodwill. First is this bag right here, Spartina449. And I paid $3.99 for it, and it sells anywhere from $60 to $150, depending on the print and what people want. These right here, I picked up a few more. Um, I figured out that they are Long John Silvers. Um, this one is the Pinta, and then the Santa Maria, and also the Nina. And I got them each for a dollar. And I would probably let my husband keep them. But if I were to sell them, they would sell between six and ten dollars a piece. But I think his collection should be complete now. And then also working on getting those teacups and saucers for the bridal shower. This one is, I believe, a Homer. Nope, it's a Skio pottery, a provincial pattern. And I got the set for only 29 cents, and it would probably sell for about five to ten dollars. Then this right here is a Pyrex. It doesn't have its handle, so it's not really a teacup. Um, it's like a custard cup, and it was 89 cents. And let's see, 89 cents and 39 cents for the plate, and it would sell for about ten dollars. It's the Pyrex Pink Gooseberry Pattern. Yes, Molly is um, having a drink of water. She's apparently very thirsty. This is a salt and pepper set. It's pewter, and it kind of came in its box. And it's, let's see, I paid $5.99 for it. It would sell for about $20. And then, also from Goodwill, I picked up these two framed artworks. This one is um, the scissor cut and I paid $2.99 for it and it'll sell for about $20. And then this over here I thought was very sweet garden. When I'm in my garden all is right with the world. It's um, a watercolor and it's signed and I paid $0.99 cents for it and it would probably sell for about $15. And that was everything that I found at the Goodwill this week. And on to the menagerie. You saw me pick up some things like this sailboat. It was $3 and it would sell for about $10 to $15, but I may keep that as a Father's Day gift and decoration at the lake house. And then this set right here, it's a Lazy Susan set, I guess, with its um, por well, ceramic pieces and I paid six dollars for it and it would sell for about 40 in its wicker basket there then this right here is a Mexican um, pottery dish um, it's just signed Mexico it's like the red the red wear with the pretty pretty hand painted design and I paid six dollars for it and it would sell for about 25 then these are um, Russian lacquerware bowls. I got a set of six little bowls and three bigger bowls, all for $5. And they don't sell tremendously well, but could sell the lot for about um, $20. But I'll probably keep a few of them because when we brought our children back from Russia, we brought them a, a little table and a tea set, and so some of these things will go nicely with that. Then over here is a little tray the roses on it and I paid a um, dollar for it. It's, to it's tollware. It would probably sell for about five dollars. Then this is the um, trivet um, Japanese with the cherry blossoms and the and the birds. I paid two dollars for it and it would probably sell for about twenty because it's a marble of it. Then the sunflower bowl. 
I picked up for my daughter because that's her favorite. I paid a dollar for it and it would probably sell for about six to twelve dollars. Then these um, Studio Nova made in Japan. Um, the flowers on here are hibiscus and I paid five dollars each for them and they'll probably sell for about twenty five dollars each. Then the pressed flowers. Um, let's see. Person didn't sign it. Who made it? Oh, yes, she did. On the back, she signed it. Nineteen ninety five, and I paid four dollars for it. And it would go anywhere from about ten to thirty five dollars. I'm probably gonna price it about twenty five. Then a couple more things you saw me pick up. This bowl back here. This pretty blue bowl. It is peacock blue iridescent. Um, let me see. I paid four dollars for it, and it would sell for about thirty. So you can see the carnival glass there. Then the bag back here, the lunch tote, uh, Danby Lee. I paid um, eight dollars for it, and it sells anywhere between twenty and forty dollars and it had its container inside with a little thing you put in the freezer. Then I wanted to talk about this. This is the, these are my notes because I had to look up and see how much it sold for, but these were the 100% uh, um, recycled glass bowls and plate and, and solid plate. And, um, when I looked them up, I could really only find the um, glasses, and they sold for about $8 a piece. The bowls were selling anywhere between $15 and um, $35 a piece. So I have a set of four, four bowls, four solid plates, and four dinner plates. So I'm putting them online at $75 a place setting, and we'll see how that goes. Then underneath, let me just move these. They are quite heavy. But they've got that iridescence and they're pretty. Okay, this I picked up for myself because I like to do crafts, so can make some stars with that. And then this tray set I liked because all of its um, handles were intact and it didn't have any issues. And I paid $5 for the set with the um, calla lilies. And um, it would probably sell anywhere between $15 and $30. Um, the salt and pepper shakers, these golden ones, I paid, let's see. Let me find where I put it. I paid $2 for them, and they'd probably sell between $15 and $25. And then I put it on this vanity tray how fancy is that if you put that together in your kitchen but the vanity tray um i got two dot for two dollars and um you can put your little perfume bottles on it or whatever um let's see what did it what did i say oh um it sells anywhere between 50 and 100 dollars. so i'll probably start an auction maybe at 20 dollars and see how that goes then the other salt and pepper were the bunnies and they have their stoppers whereas the gold ones did not but I paid four dollars for the bunnies and they will sell for about ten to twelve dollars but I may have to keep those until Easter next year then I picked up this little trinket I just liked it it's a pendant um, ceramic but I liked it It was only 75 cents attracted to blue so picked that up to make a necklace then got some more teacups and saucers let's see i paid two dollars for this set right here with the green it is asberg and it's made in germany and it would probably sell between 15 and 20 dollars then this teacup and saucer i paid a dollar each for the cup and saucer and it is um haviland made in france limoges so it would sell between $15 and $30. Then this one, 
that was very pretty. It's made in England and I paid, I think $2 for the set and it would sell between 10 and $15, Johnson Brothers. Then moving back here, this art glass bud face with the swirls. I paid $3 for it and it would probably sell for about $30. The base there is a little bit cloudy, but it's very pretty. And my mom and my sister's favorite color is green, so you never know. Might be a gift to them. Then the farmer couple, I paid $3 each for them. And they would probably sell for about $12 to $15 for the pair. She's got her shovel, he's got his pitchfork, boy and girl. This creamer and sugar... Let's see. I liked, well, I don't know whether you need a spoon with your creamer, but it came with a spoon and I paid a dollar for it. It's the Just For You brand and they would sell as a set there for about $10. Yep, $10. Then these, um, well, let's see, the cats. They had a whole shelf of cats because it was the Menagerie, which is the uh, Animal Welfare League um, charity. But I liked the blue eyes, and I thought she was made very well. And I paid $3 for her. She's porcelain, and she'd probably sell for about $20. She's made in Japan. And then this little one I also thought was very sweet with its pretty face. And I paid $2 for this one, and it would sell for about $12 to $15. Then the sake cups. They, I paid $3 for the set of six of them, and they would sell for about $12 for the set of six. It's got its flying crane there. Then the fish. These are like metal. 3D and I paid a dollar each for them and they'd probably sell for about ten to fifteen dollars for the pair. And I believe that was everything that I got. Found a lot and really filled up my cart. And we'll see how it sells. And I thank you for watching.